everybody, Gina DeLuca here. Today, I'm gonna be conducting an experiment. I took a three ounce plastic cup, I cut the bottom out, and then I put little notches in the side with um, just some uh, like pinchy plier thingies. Oh dear. Um, yes, I don't know exactly what they're called. Like wire cutter type things. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do an open cup pour. Maybe it'll kind of look like a flower. I tried it on the little tiny solo cups, but they crack all the way up. That didn't work out very well. Uh, so these the white uh, three ounce cups were flexible enough to allow the cutting without the splitting. My paint, uh, I still have some leftover paint from the workshop I gave last weekend. So I'm going to be using these colors up. Not on this pour, but <laughs> some in this pour, some on future pours. I have quite a bit left. All right, so I have mixed here, Artist Loft Flow White Acrylic. Uh, that is about one part paint, one part flow trawl. The consistency I have is a little on the thicker side. My lighting is really weird right now because I have a, a lamp here because I have a light out up there and I do not get on chairs. I get vertigo, so I would rather sit in the dark. <laughs> All right, this is the Artist Loft Crimson. I have here the Artist Loft Crimson. That's the two paint, that's mixed one part paint, two parts Floetrol, and then thinned with the 90% water, 10% Floetrol mixture until I got that consistency. You want it to just form a mound on top of the paint. I have the deep yellow. Artist Loft two paints, gold in the flow acrylic and silver in the flow acrylic. I don't usually store them in uh, water bottles like this, but they were traveling, so I thought it made sense. I want these colors to blend a little bit. I don't want them to be so much like a puddle pour, so I'm gonna have myself a little dirty cup. And I'm just gonna do actually a touch of white, not even really covering the bottom. Remembering that whatever goes in the bottom of your cup is going to be the last thing that comes out of it and that winds up being your center. All right, let's put this to the side and just lay down a bit of a base coat. Yep, 
You want to torch your base coat, get out the bubbles so that you don't wind up with tiny bubbles in your pour when they do eventually come up. Okay. These <laughs> paints are selling. That's very cool looking. I might have to try a straight pour with these, see what happens. Love, when I die, you lay me down to rest. I don't want to fly on first class. I want to go where the bad people go. I want to go where the bad people go. Way down low, down where the bad people go. I want to stretch this out actually I think it would add more interest if I can get that to stretch a bit This is not my uh, intended outcome, but 
I think this will be very pretty when it's dry. Okay, here it is. Again, not the intended uh, outcome, but cool nonetheless. I like this as a focal point right there. It looks very fiery. And the gold and the silver laying over top of the red looks very pretty. Okay, well, there it is. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and share and subscribe and all that good stuff. If you find my videos helpful and you'd like to put a little addition into the PayPal tip jar, that link can be found in the description box below, along with links to Go Make Some Art, our Facebook group. Join us over there, post your masterpieces, get some inspiration. Ask your questions when you find yourself in a painting pickle. Also, my website, GinaDeLuca.net. Pop on over there. Check out my paintings for sale and my music. And uh, what else is there? My Amazon store. Please do check that out. The link is there. The products that you see me using for the most part, can be found in the Amazon link provided. And anything that you purchase off the entire site of Amazon, if you enter through that link, I make a small commission of at no additional cost to you. So an easy way to help me stay stocked up in supplies without costing you a penny. Or an extra penny, anyway. All right, you guys, that is it for me. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you have a beautiful day. Now, go make some art.